No, and obviously you guys were getting pressure all night. I guess just work wasn't to it so difficult to, to bring about things out that I mean, we couldn't we couldn't talk about Knicks. Um, that's the biggest thing. We you know we had them where we wanted them. You know we were stopping. We was doing the things we were supposed to do on first and second down, and we were able to have some fun on third down. And, I mean, we just we just didn't come through. Way too many missed tackles. Yeah, was there any sort of was it almost unbelievable in some ways for y'all as a defense that you would have them right there and, and just bring them down? I mean, it was kind of unbelievable for everybody else. Was it all playing in the game itself? Was it just mind? Well, I mean, I would say, um, you know, I mean, it, it, was, it was disappointing, you know. Uh, we got to just, you know, just take the extra step instead of, you know, just, you know, lunging, just always track the near hip and just, you know what I'm saying, just, just do what we are supposed to do. Damone, there was a lot of talk during the week about their rushing attack and about T.J. Finley, and, and those things really didn't – they weren't factors in the game. Was it surprising the way the game played out with Bo Nix being such a big part? I mean, we know – I mean, we had to stop the run. That was the biggest thing going into this week. But, the, I mean, the running attack wasn't the thing that was hurting us. Um, it was uh, Bo Nix, you know, scrambling out of the pocket, you know, and he just finding receivers down the field. You guys obviously had some big stops in the fourth quarter, but – do you think fatigue eventually took over by the way last drive, or what walking through you think that moment I mean, you just gotta want it. You know, we we gotta want it more. You know, I fatigue make a coward out of all of us, man. You just gotta you know it's four quarters. You know, you can't win the game in the first, second, or third quarter. You gotta win the game in the fourth quarter. I'm curious if, if any of the booing uh you heard on the sideline or on the field late late in the game it seemed like the crowd started to kind of rain rain that down a little bit. Is there a little bit more of negativity? Feel that. Well, I, I really don't even understand what you do that. I said you heard the booze from the crowd. Oh, no, I was locked into the game. 